Welcome back. I am Dr. Ruckus, and today we are playing Sultai Ramp in Ranked Standard. Keeping it simple, man. Let's not make it too complicated. Play four Celestis, four Lone Speaker, and ramp as quickly and aggressively as possible into Sheldred, Sphinx, Invoke Despair, and win the game. That's it. That's all it takes. Rest of the deck, we got a lot of removal. Four Cutdowns for the early threats. Four Go for the Throats, which mostly hits everything except for things like Bank Busters and the Steel Seraph and a couple artifacts out there, the uh, Flesh Gorger, and two Infernal Grass to hit those as well. Four Underdog, solid filler card, can attack and block early and also be used late to keep drawing. That's it. That's all there is. Hit the opponent hard and fast with your ramp and uh, win the game. Enjoy the gameplay. Let's dive right in. Seems okay if they have any kind of creature-based tech. We got answers for days. Black do nothing. How nice is it to slow them down here? I think we could potentially get the headquarters down on three. So let's hold cut down open here. Rakdos. Sure. Go ahead and do our cut down thing. That's fine with us. One for one. Another Sphinx ready to go. Okay, hold open. Go for the throat and Infernal Grasp. Is it geeky jeeky time? No. Okay. Fine. So be it. What else you got? I guess we uh, go for the throat here. Could need to kill a um, bank buster at some point. More removal. Okay. Whoops. Meant to play the headquarters there, but um, that's right. Hopefully they don't draw into Sheldred. They get to cycle, but if we resolve the Sphinx, um, it's pretty expensive to deal with. And we got backups anyway. There's the Fable. Okay. We'll deal with it as it comes. There goes the first half of it. Don't draw Sheldred. All right, that's fine. Yeah, still would have been better off if we had um, played this happen last turn. I meant to. Ooh, straight up vampires, Evelyn. The uh, covetous. Soul transfer, exile, you get back Evelyn. Hmm, okay. It's coming down next turn as a five mana card. We don't hit the land, we do hit ramp. So we'll do our best, get ready to uh, pick off Evelyn immediately. It does have flash though, which is interesting. Hmm. Okay, things are about to get scary. Do we kill the... Oh, they don't have enough mana this turn. That's great. I guess we're killing Kiki Jiki immediately then. Yeah, it's fine. Plan remains the same. I think we're killing the Jiki. Okay, you're dead. One has two cards left in hand, and let's see if one of them is removal. More land. Uh, we actually don't need to play that out. We might need to cycle and get back multiple Sphinxes this game. I don't know. Let's leave Takanuma for now. Hmm. If we're going to attack with Sphinx, maybe it's fine. We'll see if we get that far. Okay. Do you have an answer for the Sphinx? If so, you're spending a lot of your mana on it this turn. They've been the cut down. Yep, that won't answer it. Do nothing. So they want to flash in Evelyn. Um... Okay, let's start with a Sphinx attack. Alright, get some decent draw off the headquarters. We'll definitely take the Invoke Despair pile. That takes out the Kiki Jiki as well, which is pretty nice. Yep, I like that. That solves a lot of our problems immediately. We could even play the next Sphinx, but um, I think I'm fine dropping this now on them. We get the creature... If we just play the next Sphinx, uh, yeah, let's just do it like this. That's fine. Okay, creature enchantment down. Opponent drops to 10, we draw up. That's nice, we can play that this turn. And they get to flash in their Evelyn, and we'll see what they got after that. Yep. There she blows. Oh, they got one of our own Sphinxes. That's obnoxious. That's obnoxious. Wow, okay. Well, we'll deal with that best we can. Is this on attack or damage trigger? Deals combat damage, so we have to trade off our Sphinx unless we top tech removal here. That is annoying. We don't get there. That does not help. Ugh, okay. 
I mean, it's got to be like that, I think. Oh, so annoying. <laughs> we think they'll trade. I guess we'll find out shortly. Yep, they do. Nothing we can do about that. Sphinx dies. We have the back of Sphinx. Do we need Bosiju for a Bankbuster? Or another Kikijiki? Answer is maybe. Do we end here? Alright, they choose not to Vulture Surge yet. See if they can get another Vampire to enter the battlefield. Cycle to the Lounge, okay. Cycle again, Cycle of Swamp, okay. Three mana left. Say good game. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Sphinxes, if you can't answer the Sphinx, it does pull ahead very quickly. On the play, let's go. Might even start with the Loam Speaker on too. Get that ramp action going. Mono weight, recruitment officer, okay. That down's nice. I think we take the ramp here. Also blocks the two in pretty well. Unless they pump squad, but we'll see what happens. Is it a squad pump? No, do nothing. Alright, so they're going to flash in the, the things instead. Which is fine. So I guess we go underdog plus... Infernal Grasp or cut down. No attacks, we're chilling. And let's see if they flash in the officers. Yep, here they are. We can wait on the cut down. Um, or the Infernal Grasp. We'll see what their three drop is. Siege Veteran. So, we could pick off the officer now with cut down. Or Infernal Grasp and then pick up the veteran on our turn. Or we can just invoke spare on our turn. This thing's a little annoying. Maybe we uh, burn the grasp now. Now we gotta burn the cut down now because they might put the veteran on itself. So we'll kill you. I think this coming turn we're just gonna invoke despair. You have to put a counter there on themselves, which is why we did it in the order we did it. Let land. I think we just take the draws. Yeah, let's do it. They'll get a token out of the reinforcements, but we could wait one more turn, kill the veteran first. Yeah, I guess that's fine. All right, veteran down. Play out the underdog. I guess we can attack with this guy. That's fine. We could even attack with the Loam Speaker, right? Uh, the Catharis hit us for two. Yeah. I mean, maybe we don't need this extra damage. Let's swing for three, shall we? Opponent drops to 17. End here. First sign of blue coming to coming out to play. Harbin, okay. That can be spooky with a wide board. That's their entire turn, though. Um, yeah, we could hit a tap land we want to play. Hmm, we probably want to cycle tap lands at this stage of the game. But we need to tap the lone speaker to hit black anyway. So it's gonna be like this regardless. I think we can start here. Could attack first with both underdogs, but I don't think that's necessary. Alright, bin the token. Okay. Yeah, we can cut down the Harbin, I suppose. There's sticks. They might flash in even more enforcements here. They're down to 13, though. We're a little bit out of gas. I think we're still happy to attack with both these guys, though. Let's see if they flash in reinforcements. They don't yet. They eat all six. Drop to seven. They still might flash in reinforcements. Yep. Okay. Going wide is the plan. Let's see if they morel. Maybe a little spooky. Thalia, okay. Tax doesn't really hurt us at this stage of the game. We got plenty of mana, but it does brick wall the underdog. We really need one of the underdogs to die. We can actually start sending land in here, though, which is kind of interesting. So. I think we get Odawara in the mix. And I think we actually attack all. They get one free block. Off the Thalia on the underdog, but the other two taking their drop super low. Wow! The last reinforcements. Damn, if they drop a Harbin on us next turn um, and they have five attackers, it's actually a decent chunk of damage. Opponent might drop to one. Nope. Chump. Trade. Okay. Sure. And we really want to draw, so I think we're dumping this guy out. Even if that means dropping down um, to 16. Okay, good draw. That can help us get the rest of the way. 
Frontliner, okay. And Veteran. All right, it's good damage. They might want to be a little bit careful in attacking. We hope they hold back something. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good for us, I think. Well. Definitely going to start here. That's all we got. Oh, we can play out the underdog, but obviously we don't need to. Okay. Opponent drops to two. They now need to win this turn. We can create a 3-3 blocker off the Loam Speaker. Siege Veteran. Is it enough? Let's see. We go block, block, take... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't think so. Maybe ten off the frontliner. Still, we drop to uh, two and survive. So I think we're good. As long as we don't make a blunder. Can I do this at instant speed? Oh, only as a sorcery. That's fine. Okay. Block some damage there. Uh, sure. Doesn't matter. Down to three. But then they draw, and that is game. So we just pass. Jace Value. Plan Azoria Soldiers. Double tap plan with Cutdown. So Cutdown lets us survive this a little bit better. Um, these are identical to us. Neither makes green. Okay, I think we just go next tap land here. We could get the speaker down. Let's ramp a little faster. Maybe that's okay. It's a good cut down target for the opponent, though. Hmm. Let's try Underdog. Because we're happier if that gets cut down immediately. Looks like they have it, probably. So if they want to burn that here on the Underdog versus the Loam Speaker, I'm happy with that. They choose not to, though. Second Swamp. Bank Buster. Okay. Alright, we are stuck on the tap land life for now. But we'll get the um, ramp source down. Swing for three. And if we top deck any untapped land, we could go right into Invoke Despair. Wouldn't actually have any good targets, but could just take the draw three. Shelly instead. I'll take it. We'll do it now so they don't um, try to remove the Loam Speaker or something. We could attack first. I think we're just going to do it like this. This lets them remove the Sheldra instead of the Underdog if we play this first versus attacking. But I really don't want to give them the opportunity to pick off the Loam Speaker before we can use it to ramp. That would be quite sad. So the fact that they didn't take the draw first. March there. Okay. So they must have another answer in hand. And they're okay taking the damage. Not sure. You'd think they might have tried to draw off the Bankbuster for an answer. Trespasser. Take the underdog. Okay, that's what they most are interested in. I mean, we get a good swing here. And if we top tech land, we get a nice invoke to spare. We don't. That's okay. So I guess we're going Celestis this turn. Could power up a 3-3. That's not really effective. So it's just Shelly attack. Okay. Shelly attack it is. When it eats it, drops to 14. Play out the Celestis. And set up for some Invoke Despair damage next turn. That's all we got. That's all she wrote. Man with a hammer is who we're playing against. Down to 12. Fifth land, they could invoke despair here. It's another trespasser, sure. I don't think there's anything in either graveyard, though. No goodies to fetch. Okay. Go for the throats. I mean, either way, they just power up the bank buster. So we're not going to get good Sheldred attacks in. One option is to not use that. It's just attack with Sheldred and then play out the backup Sheldred instead. I think I'm okay with that. And if they make a clumsy block, we can always go for the throat anyway. I think all that seems pretty reasonable to me. Okay. Here comes Shelly. Show me how you want to block. Double block like that. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll just go for the throat here. Pick off one of you guys. And drop off cut down is fine. Resolve. Keep back up Shelly in case we need it. Okay, that's all for our turn then. Opponent had two mana open, right? They choose not to draw off the Bank Buster. Again, does that mean they already have the answer? Okay, March you for five. Got a good chunk of life back. Probably next Shelly here. Yep, that's fine with me. Um... 
I think we can attack with this guy. We're not doing a whole lot else. Keep the pressure on, little bit by bit. Yeah, Shelter's kind of been neutralizing their Bankbuster. They really don't seem to want to use it. Look at them running the March of Wretched Sorrow tech. You don't really see that a lot these days. Not sure if they just really like the life gain against aggro. Or, um... It's not like they're short on wild cards, right? Because go for the throat is a common or uncommon. Gix's command. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. That was a play. And I guess we're just despairing this turn. Try to draw into more threats. Um, I'd rather take the pain damage, right? And continue to attack, I suppose. What do we need? Black. Two. Three. Four. Colorless. Okay. Just making sure. Okay. Drop to six. We do not hit gas, by the way. <laughs> Drop into five, I guess. That's all we got. Hmm. Not a not a mind blowing draw there. Trespasser. Okay. I mean, we could start turning lands into attack power. Another one. Okay. This makes the underdog trade much worse. Because if we trade with one underdog, the next one can attack. They're going to attack us back? Dude, you're down to seven. Really? But now they're hesitating. Okay. I mean, you made the move. Clearly, this is what you wanted. You've chosen this life. Okay. Well, that was pretty good for us. Uh, blue and black is what we need most in general. Play out the hasty underdog? I guess just runs into the bank buster anyway. Hmm. We don't have an answer to the bank buster. Other than bouncing. I think this is fine to start. Could just take this less to draw. Alright. Start here. I think we're dropping off probably just extra land. Okay. They should power up the bank buster in response. We cannot stop that, sadly. Could play out a hasty underdog and attack just to get the draw. Seems a little unnecessary. Okay. That's all we got this turn. Pretty slow. Invoke Despair instead of chaining Invoke Despair. We just drew into three lands, so that's exciting. Blade Coil Serpent. We discard a bunch of cards. Okay. Yep, nothing we can do about that. Cool. Do nothing, flip the night side, get the free Celestis flip. Seems reasonable. Don't think we want to attack with the underdog with the trespassers around. Well, that game got a lot slower. Flip the night side for both of us. We'll definitely take the action. That's an okay draw in general. Deals with the serpent at least. Okay. Drop the loam speaker. Yes, yeah, has not been an amazing uh, mid-game draw for us. And you're dead as well. Okay. We'll kill the serpent after they go to combat, so they can't power up the bank buster in response. They do get to strip the underdog out of the graveyard, though, which does not feel amazing. Yep. Okay. Take out the serpent at least. But, uh, yeah, needs to draw a bit better to get back in this game. Sure. It's actually okay to bin. That's a good draw. They don't have more removal. We'll see. If they can kill this immediately, we probably lose. If they don't, we actually have a chance. But, uh, four cards in hand, seven mana to play with. Let's see if they can chain the Invoked Despair. Go for the throat. Pay two. Okay. What do you say? Give it one more top deck? Yeah, that did not really pan out for us. Pixis Command was pretty good. Celestis of their own. Well, it's a card. Nobody said it wasn't a card. Usiju. Back up Celestis. Usiju kills an attacking Bankbuster at some point. Maybe that Warren's not playing it now. Sheldred. Okay. Can't deal with it. Too bad we don't have one more mana for Besiju. 
Yeah. That is how that goes. On the blade. Looks okay. I think we get our tap lane down first. It means you don't hold cut down on one. But we can get the underdog down on two, which I'm just fine with. Okay, let's see what Mono White has to offer us. Need a little more land, but we go Shelly into Invoke Despair. Classic pain in the ass for the opponent. Do nothing. We hit the Celestis. That's pretty nice. Swing for three. Okay. Celestis should be uh, uncontested here. Resolute reinforcements. All right. Looks like soldiers. But we got a good next turn coming. Um, do we want to cut these things down now? No, I guess it's fine. We can wait. I'm about to play the two mana, two two pump squad. That's a higher priority. Name soldier. Play Brutal Cathar. Okay, that's perfect. They're about to get blown out. They attack. So we're all good. They attack anyway. We cut down the Cathar. And we'll pick off the non token creature. Cool. Uh, yeah, I think we get Shelly going here. And I think we're also fine to attack. And then we invoke despair next turn. We'll gain a bunch of life. Reinforcements. So going wide isn't great with Invoke Despair, but it's okay. We'll just draw as much as we can. We might actually not have the mana for that. That's fine. We can attack all here and cut someone down. <laughs> I think that's fine. Let's lay on the pressure. Jump. Okay, sure. Take three. That's all we got. Uh, I guess we could manual Celestis, right? I guess we'll flip for free anyway. Cool. Take the free action. Um, We're pretty far away from Invoke Spare, actually, right? No, we just need one more. We can drop off backup Sheldred here. I think that's fine. The only thing that can really kill it is um, Brutal Cathar, and we have to cut down for that anyway, so... Morel. Spooky. Okay. And we can't... Um, whoops. Yeah, should have... Um, Interesting. Okay. I guess we offer this. See if they want to block. I take the jump. Makes sense. If we're going to cut down, it has to be on our own turn. So we can take the Celestis draw first. Leave black open. Take action. Uh, yeah, I'll jump. Drop off backup Celestis here. Cut down you now, because we can't do it on the opponent's turn. Give him Morel. Should have probably done this on their prior turn before Morel was resolved, but it's okay. Opponent's down to five. Veteran pump squad. Okay. Make some blockers. Frontliner comes down. And recruitment officer. That's a wide-looking board. <laughs> That's a lot. Okay. I think we're just despairing here. And that should be it on their draw, right? Lose one creature. Drop to one. That's all. We gain some life. But it does not matter because then they draw on their turn. As long as we don't attack with children. And that's game. Recruitment officer. Sure. Again. Doesn't help them though. Good game. Opponent goes first. We got some interaction for a little while. I'm okay with this. Mono blue. Uh, I mean, they didn't play Delver on one, so we don't bother holding cut down. Okay, opponent. We have double answers for the Jin, And if we resolve Sheldred, we probably win. Okay, opponent exudes patience. So be it. It's an okay draw. I mean, the more things they absolutely have to counter, the better. Sphinx is not a clear win, though, because they can just trade with the Jin. It's not like it will always get in for free. That's a good draw. That is a good draw. Definitely go for that. They counter it, and we can just play it back every turn and keep drawing. That's an okay way to get there. When it lets it resolve instead of countering it. All right, we got some damage on the board now. They thirst, sure. Pretty sweet th uh, sleeves, I think. Bin and Island. Looks like we're going to Fading Hope. Alright, bounce the underdog. Fine. 
One to the top. All right. I'll probably try the underdog again next turn. Okay. When it thinks for a while, then does nothing. I think we try Celestis first. Then underdog after. Celestis is huge. We can filter through cards. That's going to be big for us. Give us more chances to draw into answers for the Jin. All right. They use the negate there. And we attempt the underdog. And see if they counter this as well. All right. Sure. No problem. Can bring it back next turn. Finally, the Jin emerges. They only have one land, though. So we get to kill it for sure this turn. No, qu no questions about it. All right. Let's get her done. Here comes round one. Yep. And here comes round two. First Jin dead. Three more to go. Terrors are scary too, but we could actually, we could fly over the terrors if we ever get to resolve the Sphinx. Okay, there's the first terror. Two mana open. Still kind of stuck on four lands though. Seems like a Sheldra turn to me. All right, see if we can sneak through. They have the Essence Scatter. Looks like they are going to. Yeah. Okay. Make a six six. Ram. Good game. Are you that confident? You just have all counter spells now? You think you can just win? Yeah, I think we eat six this time. Let us play through Make to Spear on the Sphinx. I mean, we could chump block with lands every single turn if we had to. Another terror is annoying, though. I admit. Triple terror is annoying. I admit. I don't love a premature good game, though. So I guess I have the counter spell for this. Oh, resolves immediately. Okay, so we can turn lands into blockers now. I mean, it'll still take a lot to get there, but they had no stick there at all. So they have no more counter spells. So if we can draw via the Sphinx into a removal. Yep, nothing we can do about that. Okay. Yes, this is lots of damage, I understand. I guess if they have the bounce spell, they can just do it, right? I think we... Um, Want to just move to blockers. Make sure the block sticks. Because if we tap the Lone Speaker and make the land, and they fading hope the land, then we cannot block. But since we've already declared blockers, we guarantee this block. We take 10. And we attack with the Sphinx and hope to draw enough removal to get through both the Ward 2 twice, plus any counter spell they top deck. But they didn't have a counter spell last turn when we dropped the Sphinx, so we'll see. Okay, I don't think that does it, so we have to draw into better. So I think the opponent burning their time out here means they have March of Swirling Mist in hand, and they're trying to math out if they can target the Sphinx and play March. Uh, but I don't think so, because they still have to pay one blue for that. So even if they discount the X part, they still have to pay um, two for the ward, right? Anyway, it all comes down to if we can land the attack and we draw into enough removal. And if they do have March of Swirling Mist and can march their own stuff, then we lose anyway. But they're really taking their sweet time on this attack. All right. We need two removal spells, and they can separate them. Good game again. Yeah, we didn't draw anything off that. All right, that is game. Dude. Oh, don't be an asshole. On the play. I think we get the tap land down first. And hope they don't have a one drop. That would have been a good cut down target. But we'll find out shortly. Boros. Kumano, maybe? Kumano faces Kakazan. Okay. Cool. Hmm. Underdog's okay. You just kill it. You can always use it as a blocker. See if it gets destroyed immediately. Tap land. That's nice. I do not play too many of these in my aggro decks. We have some access to um, a lot of other good stuff. Are we even attacking? I mean, I guess we can, but... Because we're going to cut down on the way back. Sure. We got stick. We might see play with fire here. Nope, they let it go. We hold open double removal spells. They choose to play with fire after combat. Sure. If it was an exile effect, we could have considered killing it ourselves to send it to the graveyard, but it's not the case because Kumano just now enters the battlefield. Okay. Cut down you. Are they stuck on land? 
Yeah. Huh. Okay. We hit our fourth land, which is absolutely massive. Attempt the first Shelly of the game. And see if they can answer that in that color combination. It'd have to be like a Fateful Absence type thing. I'll go land, lightning strike, plus play with fire. Takes numerous resources. Virtuoso. Okay, they're actually Magecraft. Fair enough. Probably not swinging with Sheldra then. Probably just remove it with Go for the Throat. We'll see if they have um, indestructible or hexproof effects off the white here. Cut down is cheap. That's fine by me. Hmm. I guess that's easier to just pump up with any spell, right? So we should go for the throat here instead. Okay. So that is hexproof, right? Alright, so we'll just cut down now. Now that we know that it's locked in as a 2-2. Two -two. Homestead Courage. Okay. I think we are swinging here. Getting them nice and low. Down to 7, down to 5. We are still sitting pretty at 20. If we drop the Sphinx, then should be pretty much game. I wonder how much Angel Fire Ignition could do. They got some lifelink in there, but I don't know. Manual taps on the red. They want to intentionally leave white open, at least for one Homestead Courage. And they scoop. Fair enough. 